here today with Jennifer Kinder, who has raised several puppies on behalf of the Guide Dog School of the Desert. Thank you so much for joining us today and, and talking to us a little bit more about what the role is of a raiser. Can you tell Thank us you. more about what you do as a raiser? Um, as a raiser, I will get a puppy like Lo when they are probably <laughs> 8 to 10 weeks old and then I will keep the puppy until they're 18 to 20 months old. So for about a year and a half before we have to give them back. I call it sending them away to college. <laughs> <laughs> like children. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We okay. raise them up, train them best we can, and then send them off to college. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Lo. Lo? Lo's a special boy. Lo and his two brothers, Matt and Nick, all three of these guys are being sponsored by a special group of Marines. They're based in Okinawa, Japan. And they are named after three young Marines who were killed in January in Afghanistan. So these, these boys are being raised in their memory. That's very special for me. So how did you decide to get into puppy raising and how did you hear about it? A friend of mine recommended that I look into it and I actually wound up applying online uh, right on their website. And they called and had some people come and visit me at my home and check things out and make sure everything was puppy proof. And then a few weeks later, they just call you up and say, come get your dog. <laughs> so it's pretty fast. It happened pretty quickly. It happened pretty okay. quickly. They're okay. always, always looking for more puppy raisers. Great. And what is the hardest part about raising puppies? Giving them up. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Sending them off to college. I'm sure parents would understand that. Because you keep them for a year and a half, you mm -hmm. said? Yeah, you do get attached. I mean, it's just like a child. You get up in the night, you get up during the day, you have to listen to them ball and take care of them. And then you just send them off to a whole world where you don't even know where the, what they're going to be doing. Yeah. So what is the part that is just the most rewarding about, about being able to raise these puppies, knowing that they're going to go to someone who's blind or needs help? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's the biggest yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you've seen our promotional video, but there's a, a woman named Olita in our video who's getting her guide dog, Jake. And I burst into tears every single time because when you see a blind person so happy to get their freedom, to get a whole new life, that means something. It's, you're just ready to sign up again. Sure. That's what we do. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and <laughs> sharing a little welcome. about what it's like to be a puppy raiser. And, and thank you for helping people who, who need these dogs. It's just really wonderful <laughs> that they're able to do it. And thank you so much, Lo. <laughs> <laughs>